Hey everybody, welcome back to Trucking Answers. Now I have heard, oh, through the trucking grapevine that uh, October 3rd to 8th, there's a protest in Washington, D.C. They're not calling it really a protest, they just want answers to problems. And it's called Operation Black and Blue, and it's supposed to be peaceful. I'll tell you this, I wouldn't name something Operation Black and Blue and say it's going to be peaceful, okay? You need better naming. But let's talk about some of the problems and what's going on here. The main problem seems to be the electronic logs. The mandate's coming up this the end of this year, of course, and drivers are all in a frenzy about it. And what I've read, I've read a lot about it. Drivers are concerned that they sit at a shipper for many hours, this may have happened to you, or receiver, and uh, then are expected to drive, but then they have all this time that they didn't get compensated for, and they want to be able to, quote, fix their logs, meaning violate their logs, right? So. What they want the government to do is make sure we don't have this electronic log so that we can have a paper log and fix our logs. The real problem here seems to be you're sitting and not getting paid anything. Why do you do that? That's why don't you go protest your own company and say, why do I sit for six hours and don't get paid? See, that's the thing about this. I have run an electronic log for seven years now, right? No problems. Right, no issues at all. But I don't sit around and don't get paid. So you shouldn't either. If you're sitting somewhere six hours, why are you giving your company six hours of pay? Why do you do that? That's the real question. The problem isn't the government is forcing an electronic log on you. The problem is you're sitting somewhere not getting paid. Go gripe at your company and go quit. If these companies didn't have drivers, they couldn't sit you there all this time. But because drivers tolerate it, then and then just gripe about it online or go to the government. The government isn't going to solve your problem. The government never solves your problems. Okay, whatever the system is, whenever I you know I used to run under the ten hour and uh, driving an eight hour sleep of birth. It doesn't matter. Now we're eleven hours and ten. It doesn't make any difference to me. Whatever it is, I'm going to make money in the industry because that's what I do. I've been driving as you know nearly thirty years now. Okay, so whatever the system is, I'm going to make money at it. But I also don't sit around and not get paid because I think that's ridiculous. And I don't care where you work. I don't care if you work at Burger King. I don't care if you're the CEO or something. Sitting getting paid is crazy. Okay, one of the other things that drivers want is the CSA change. Now this I agree with. It's very hard. You get a CSA point on there to get it removed. And you can get CSA points for things that, uh, you know, it's not really, uh, shouldn't be on there and there's no way to verify it. There's no way to challenge it. Okay, I'll go with you on the CSA. Let's change it. Parking, drivers are looking for parking. There's nowhere to park. Uh, I agree, there's nowhere to park. This is the government's problem. Half the parking problem, which I'm gonna go into in another video, right, is that drivers park at truck stops, and I've done this as well, I'm sure everybody has, and uh, you leave in the morning, you don't buy anything. Or how, you think they just build that place, that's not free. So uh, for many years now, if I go into a truck stop, I buy something. And if you're gonna park there, go in and buy something. You want truck more truck stops open? You gotta spend money in there. They're there to make money like everybody else. Don't park there without buying anything. And one of the other things they want is uh, on the FMCSA board, they want 50% to be drivers or owner operators. All right, that's not gonna happen. They're not just gonna appoint drivers. And there's very few drivers uh, that are p politicians. Uh, they can't seem to get elected or whatever. I've run for public office twice in the 90s, okay? And drivers weren't interested. Oh, we, don't, we want change, but not your change. So I don't know what to say about that, but that's just simply not gonna happen. So you may get part of it, uh, parking the truck the third to the eighth, that's probably not going to happen. I got to work. People are going to work, okay? I do fine in the industry, and you should too. That's the thing of it. You should do fine. Don't sit and not get paid. Don't sit around and let your company say, oh, we're just not going to pay you. No. Say, so you're paying me on quitting. That's how it works. Don't look to the government to solve your problems, okay? And so that's it for today. Thanks for watching Trucking Answers.